So Revelation Online doesn't really have a stamina system per se, but it does have a lot of things that you get locked out of. When it comes to dungeons, even the first dungeon, which is Darkfall, you can start it at level 20 and then hard is at 30. But as you can see here, you can only do it five times a day. And then it resets. So every thing has like a certain amount of times you can do it. Dark Falls five times a day for each version. This is Misty Hollow. Misty Hollow Trowel, which you can start at 25, is one time. Tower of Pain Hard, which you, I think it's 40 or 50 that you can start it, but it's only one time and the entries actually mix for those two, so you can only do one or the other. You can't do both. You have Misty Hollow 45, which is one time a day. And then you have Hard, which is two times a week. Now, there's really no way to tell if this is a week or a day, but this is weekly and then these two are daily. Uh, Guardian Trials is MH Trials or Tower of Pain. That's the one that I was saying is a mixed thing. Then you have Yes. This is Deserted Shrine. The first dungeon, or the first one is at 35 and it's two times. Then you have Hard, which is at 40 and it's one time a day. These two are both a daily. This one is a weekly and you can do it three times a week. And this is start to your expert runs, which. That's where you get the gold gear. After Deserted Shrine in the 50s, you get Grand Bulwark. So Deserted Shrine is basically the 40 dungeon. The expert is 45 to 49, basically, for gear. Uh, this is GB, which is the next level. Easy is at 50. It's two times a day. Hard is at 52, it's one time a day. Grand Bulwark Slaughter is at 55, it's one time a day. And then Expert is two times a week. So as you can see, the amount of entries you can do per dungeon is actually decreasing as you get higher levels. Which is kind of annoying, but I guess it's supposed to slow down your progression. There's also Tower of Pain. which actually has a variety of versions on it. You have Trowel, which is 49. But again, this can only be done either this or Misty Hollow Trowel once a day. If you have the booster pack from... You have Premium and... There, this one. If you have premium plus the progress booster pack, you can stack it up to three days. Let's see, first day is just one time. Two days with service is two point four times the exp. Wait, no, two times the exp, and then three days is. 3 times the EXP if you have progress boost. If you just had the basic, it's 2 days is 2 times the EXP, and 3 days is 2.4 times the EXP. If you have nothing, you can still stack it up to 3 days, but you get 1.8 times the EXP and 2.4 times the EXP. So if you're still leveling, try to get that progress boost so you don't have to do this every day. But again, you still can only do it once a day. Then you have Hard, which is level 60, which is once a day. Then you have Challenge, which is 59 plus, and, but it's three times a week. There used to be an easier way to figure this out, but they removed that and redid it, and I can't figure out if they have a new version of it. And Tower of Pain does have a quest that's only once. And then this is a Joust of the Stoic. 
I don't remember the days that this is. It's like... I think it's supposed to be once a month on Sunday. But it ends up being... I think like twice a week? Every other week or every three weeks? Something like that. It's one of the newer things, so I'm not 100% sure on the timing. And I don't think that counts as your three, one of your three injuries, I'm not sure. After a tower of pain, you get to the 59 dungeon. Well, EC has, EC is kind of a special dungeon compared to the others. It's not really a level bracketed dungeon. It is, because you can only open it at certain levels, but it's not like the others where it's like, okay, this is all in the 50s range that you can start this dungeon. For EC, you had the first one at 59, which gives, you well, you can see it here, it gives the same Nyxes as, I think it's one star, uh, GB. Then you have hard, which is at 69, which gives the same as MC. And then you have 79, which gives AOS one star. And then these two are once a week, and they are 10 man parties. And they're, these are like the, supposed to be the hardest dungeons in the game. But you can only do them once a day, or once a week. So the rest was three times a week, if I remember. We just looked at that. Yeah, these three are three times a week, and these two are one time a week. So that one is when stuff starts trying to kind of changing for the dungeons. I don't know if that's the same with the one dungeon that we don't have that... I don't even know if China has yet. Then you get to MC, which is the 69 or 65 to 69 expert dungeon. And with EC, that's only PVE gear. The two epics, or epic and expert. I don't know, whichever the two big ones are. They give EC gear, which I don't have any so I can't show you, but it's basically PvE gear. It's a whole set line. Like the PvP gear. This? It's like this, but PvE stats on it. And the bottom stats are random, where the PvP gear isn't. Well, then you have MC. MC starts at 60. It's two times a day. This is two times a day. This is hard. This is MC Retreat. It's kind of like GB Slaughter except for MC. And it's one time a week. Or one time a day. No, hard. Uh, MC Hard is actually, I think, two times a week. Basically, if you see these little things on them, they're weekly. Where those are just daily. This is the 20 man and the 10 man. They share entries and you can only enter once a week. So if you start in a 10 man, you're not going to be able to join a 20 man and vice versa. So you need to be careful on which one you're choosing for that one. And most of these dungeons are the ones that have the epics on them. Or the experts on them, sorry. They have the gold gear and they have the mats to be able to craft the demon slayer gear. You can use it in the 70s. You can use it at any level. But I really wouldn't recommend using all of the pieces at the 70s because they don't have the stats that you need. And you'll be losing a lot of DPS slash heal. And possibly even some defense from getting those and not crafting gear. Then this is AOS. AOS normal is at 70, it's two times a day. Uh, hard is one time a day. And then you have expert, which is one time a week. 
And that's also a Tin Man dungeon. And it just starts out like that. And those are the dungeons, and those are the dungeon lockouts. I mean, it's really not all that much, to be honest, because of the lockouts. Even if you go to sidekick some of them that are lower level, with the lower level, you still have only a certain amount that you can do now. Like, they've put limits on that, even. You have shadow demons, which... Yeah, I'll go somewhere and hope that they have spots. This, these things, these are sh shadow demon dungeons, which you have to have a party of three to go in. And I recommend a party of five just because it makes it easier and you can do higher level ones. You can only do 20, I think it's a day. And then you can only loot five with loot and I think it's like 10 a week. I don't, the, the limits on that one kind of confused me so I wasn't, I'm not 100% sure on those. You have these which you can do five a day which is your clash rep you can't do any more than that and there's even if you farm the class events there's still another lockout on that when you go to honor and class you can only get 8,000 reputation you can't get more than that a week and that resets that weekly reset which is basically Sunday turning into Monday. Guild quests, you can technically stack them up to twice. You accept them one day and then you do them the next day. And they're just a set of ten. That's all you do. And you can only stack them twice by accepting it one day and doing it the next day. And then you have that days to do. Hot Springs stacks up to five times anything more than that like this has been maxed for a very long time and you notice it's still at 500. The events are generally starting at 8 p.m. server time and that's all like they start at 8 p.m. and you're there or you're not or you don't get the event. The events that don't work with that is Snow Pine on Sunday which is at 7:30, and Joust of the Stoic inner demons, that type of stuff that has various times. The fishing event on Tuesdays also has a few other times, but the main competition is at 8. Trail of Four Kings you can stack up to three times, and by stacking I mean you don't do it one day, you might not do it the second day, and then the third day you'll have three. But again you need that progress boost for the most maximum EXP. Poacher's Market you can only do however many quests you have unlocked at that time for that day but if you are on say that you pick them up you don't have time to do them you can do them the day next day but they will not like the poachers goes from 10 25 to 50 without you having to accept a new quest if you do if you pick it up one day and you don't start any of it and you still have that 10 quest you can do 10 mobs and then you're gonna have to pick it up the next day if you get to the 50 one, then you can finish the 50 one the next day and pick it up again. So it doesn't go from 10 to 25 to 50 if it's the quest for a, from a different day. I hope that makes sense. Daily token doesn't stack. You have to do it that day or you don't get the credit. Guardian Trials already mentioned. Scour. You get 200 a day, so you can stack this for two days if you don't use brew each day. If you use a brew, then you need to go in, do your brew, and then you can stack it the next day for because it totals at 400. So it's not like you can use a brew and then get your 200 the next day because you'd be over the 400 and it stacks at 400. It does show you some of the weeklies on here, and it shows you some of the events like Fairies Funland is most of the day, fishing competition. You can see it has three warm ups and the official. Ninefold is at 8 o'clock. Star Shatter is at 8 o'clock. Again, Fairies Fun Land. Uh, GVG. 
territory war if not territory war green dragon and white dragon or white tiger tournament this is also like you have if you won last week then you'll be registered on Monday if not then Tuesdays you have to register your guild and this is only for vice leader and guild leader and then if you get in this starts at 8 o'clock you can see the schedule here Territory War starts at 8. Snow Peak starts at 7.30. Inner Demons has a variety of time periods. You can use 60 Ascension Essences a week, but 30 are free, then you have to buy Whimsy. If you can get Whimsy from a variety of places, like basically the events that I just mentioned. From Star Shatter Island, for sure, you can get Whimsy. Uh, I don't really remember where else you can get whimsy. Oh, the uh, premium, if you have premium one, that gives a whimsy. And you can buy whimsy straight from the cash shop. Bounty Hunter, you can do five a week. I think if you accept it, or if you accept one of the rounds, you can finish it the next week. Tower of Pain, I already said you only can do three times a weekly. Karstad, the journeys. These three journeys. There's three of them. There's Karstad, Lamp Creek, and Sulan, which I don't know why Sulan's not up there. You can do them three times a week. Or you can do them once a week. All 25. But you can accept them the week before and do them the next week. The same with the 120 quest. You can do it once a week. But you can accept last week's and then do them this week. Which, that's this one. Um... Trying to remember what else. Uh, the Run Brother, there's one weekly, one daily quest. Disc Copy can do once a week, or once a day. Wind Catcher, I think, is once a day. Uh, for Adventure Quest, when you do the boards. this. If you do the quest on here or on the boards, it's the same thing. So you can refresh this. You get to refresh it once every hour, but you have to buy the refresh if you go over that one hour refresh. You can do 10 of these without any penalty. Then at 10, the notes are taken. At 20, I think it's EXP. I think it's like 10% EXP loss. 30, I think it's notes again. To where after a while you just get nothing from doing these. So there's no, you can't really grind them. Um, blue quest are once, but you can delete them and redo them. Mythos and Chronicles you do once. Crafting is based on your DP and IP, so your inspiration and diligence. Once that's out, you just have to wait for it to regen. There's a lot of little, like, oh, here, you can see here, it tells you, so they do have it again, how many you can do and how many you've done over that week. And if it's a weekly or daily, because as you can see, this says day, week, day, week. This one doesn't have week, but I mean day, but it's a day. Even for PvP, there in there's some lockouts because first off, there's a bar up here when you first start out. This is your valor, but it only updates once a week at weekly reset. You can only get so many army coins. If you don't get that many army coins, you can get more next week. I don't know the percentages. War medals, you can get as many war medals as you want. But after you get this, the only ra reason is is for the ratings. For Demon Slayer, once you get a thousand, you can't get any more merit for that week. 
uh, there is a maximum amount of Demon Slayer points you can get a week as well. There's a maximum amount of merit you can get a week. I mean, it's like, even with these, there's the quest. You can do, I guess, these as much as you want, and these as much as you want, but for the quests, there's a max. Black, or uh, what is it? Pirate crew, once you go in, you get those little tokens that give your guild merit or whatever for Deathly Atoll. There's a max of how many of those a day you can uh, give to the guild. So there's limits on basically everything. You can't just go grind mobs because they won't give you much EXP. So this is all supposed to deter botters, but it, I don't know. It's just kind of, that's just how the game is. But yeah, that's Rev. Hopefully it helped and it helped clear a few things up for some people who might be kind of confused at the limits since I've had quite a few people keep asking me why they can't do MH more than once. Well, that's why, because the game only lets you do it once a week. MH Strat, that is. So yeah, I hope that helps. See you in the next one.